April is Autism Acceptance Month. And this morning we are talking about how one organization is really working to strengthen the services for people who are living with autism and with other developmental disabilities. And right now we are joined by Dr. Patrick Queenan this morning, Director of Clinical Services and Quality Improvement with Ability Beyond. Good morning to you. Thank you for joining us. Good morning. Thanks for having me on. Let's go ahead and get started. So in the past, you know, this month has been referred to as National Autism Awareness Month. Tell us a little bit about the shift to calling it Autism Acceptance Month now. Well, you know, I think it's a great shift. We, I think, have got mission accomplished on autism awareness. We're at a rate of one in 44 um, that are now carrying a diagnosis. And I think a lot of us can notice autism, but the question is, are we accepting people with autism? And so the shift is really to look at people and say, we're, we're all equal and we all have equal rights to access our community, equal rights to obtain competitive employment, um, to get the things that we all want, you know, to pursue happiness. And so, you know, at, at this point, it's about how do we recognize that certain things that we see are helpful to a person? and they're not things to be worried about or to change. Um, so I think it's a really, really good move on uh, Autism Society's part yeah, to shift our focus. Better. Absolutely. Now, please uh, tell us about Ability Beyond. I believe uh, you're uh, headquartered out of Bethel, correct? What kind of support That's does correct. your program offer? So we offer a number of different levels of care within our organization. The thing I'm excited to talk about today is that we're doing in-home behavior supports, which is great for People that are transitioning out of schools, typically they get really great applied behavior analysis and positive behavior supports, which is really the gold standard for people who have an autism spectrum disorder diagnosis. But those supports often go away when they graduate. Um, and one barrier to entry is getting connected to the Department of Developmental Disabilities to obtain funding. So what we've decided to do is <clears throat> to create our own in-home behavior support clinic that families can access at a reasonable cost um, so that they can get started on services right away. Um, but as an organization, we've been around since 1953 and we provide things like career development, uh, supported independent living, group homes. Um, we have all, all different levels of care, including um, day and work programming during the day as a place where people could transition from high school into. Okay, and can you tell us a little bit about the applied behavior analysis science-backed technique? Of course, yeah. So, you know, the thing that's most important to know in looking at someone's behavior is that their behavior serves a purpose. It's either a form of communication or there's a, a function, a need that they're meeting. And typically we look at, we say EAST, escape, attention, sensory, or tangible. So somebody's looking to get out of something that's unpleasant someone's looking to get a social connection, someone's doing something that just feels good, um, or somebody's looking to get something. And so what we look at in this model is, how do we help you meet a need, not just extinguish a behavior, but how do we teach you a new skill hmm. that will get that need met if the way you've been going about it is problematic? Um, but again, with the acceptance month, we wanna say, if somebody's doing something like stimming, maybe we just accept that. Um, if someone's doing something that is a barrier to them getting employment, then we wanna find a way to teach them a new skill to meet their needs. All right, accept what needs to be accepted. Try to work on changing what needs to be changed. Dr. Queen, it makes a lot of sense. And Ability Beyond is uh, uh, based down in Bethel if people need it. Thank you so much for taking the time to join us today. We do appreciate it. My pleasure.